So let's talk about rent in Hawaii. Yeah, you know that thing that comes up at the end of every month that some people dread, even though they know it's coming? Yeah, Mr. Tanaka, it looks like I'm gonna be a little late this month with the rent. You know, the economy's slowing down and, you know, I'm still processing current events, but I promise it won't happen again. Yeah, 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 but this time I mean it. A lot of the population in Hawaii rents because it's so expensive to buy. But how expensive is rent in Hawaii and what can you expect to be paying? It's gotta be cheaper than buying. Those housing prices are crazy. If by cheaper, you mean the most expensive rent in the nation, followed by the District of Columbia and New York, then you'd be right. Over the past 10 years, Hawaii's median gross rent has been about 50% higher than the national gross rent. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the median monthly rent and security deposit costs in Hawaii in 2020, both statewide and per county. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be talking about how much you'd actually have to earn in order to afford some of the rents here in Hawaii. And the citations for all of the information I'll be talking about will be linked in the description below. So you're probably gonna need to rent a house. Yeah, I have a big family. You know, we have a dog. We need space to grow. But not every house here is beachfront property. So don't get confused thinking that based on these prices, you're gonna be able to just go out the back door and throw your towel in the sand and just relax. The median monthly rent for a single family unit in the state is $2,220. And that's actually not that bad, all things considered. It is high, but it could be a lot higher. With my budget, I can't imagine it being any higher. We're already stretched so thin. You know, how am I supposed to go out to eat three times a week, go shopping at Whole Foods, pay for my new car, and go to Vegas? And this means that the security deposit and first month's rent will be $4,440. And that's a lot of money, but so is everything else in Hawaii. Here is the median monthly rents per county. As you can see, even though the median monthly rent for the state is $2,220, it's much higher in Honolulu and Maui, where most of the people and jobs are. The Big Island has much lower housing costs and is the most affordable. But things to remember about houses in Hawaii are that houses in Hawaii are smaller than what you'll find on the mainland, and most of the houses were built in the 1970s and 80s. Also, just know that location of the house will impact the cost of the rent. For example, if you live in a house closer to Honolulu, those rents will be higher versus a house somewhere on the west side of Oahu. Additionally, renting in nicer neighborhoods is gonna cost you more, like in Kailua or Hawaii Kai or Mililani. But renting is great if you don't know if you wanna settle into Hawaii. Yeah, I'm just testing out the waters, you know, just seeing if I like this island lifestyle. This island style is pretty tough sometimes. Most people have to rent out of necessity because of the limited housing supply as well as the high costs. Also know that it's extremely difficult, if not impossible, to save up enough money for a down payment to purchase a place if you're paying these types of rent. Okay, maybe you don't need to rent a house. Maybe it's just you or maybe you and someone else. Totally fine, you can rent an apartment or a condo. We got plenty of them here. Okay, sounds good. The median monthly rent for a multifamily unit in the state is $1,998. Wait, 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 wait. I thought renting a house was $2,220. Why is it so expensive? Like I said, it's not cheap living here. At $1,998, the security deposit and one month's rent will come out to $3,996. Here are the median monthly rents per county. As you can see for Honolulu, again, where most of the jobs are, the rent for an apartment and house are nearly the same. For Maui, Big Island, and Kauai, the rent for an apartment is a little less than for a single family home. Another thing to consider for multifamily units is the pet policy. Some landlords don't want any pets, so it can become a challenge if you're trying to rent a condo and they don't allow you to bring your dog or cat. So at this point, you're probably wondering, how am I gonna afford all this? How much money do I have to make? Yeah, I have no idea. Wait, what? Just kidding, they actually quantified how much you'd have to earn per hour in order to afford a two bedroom condo at fair market rent. And to determine affordability, they calculate and determine a certain percentage of one's income per month that should go 
towards housing. So to afford a two bedroom condo in the state of Hawaii, you'd have to earn $36.13 per hour or roughly $75,150 per year. So I majored in history, what can I get for that? And yeah, that's a lot of money. And let me just say that while Hawaii does have some high paying jobs, not all the jobs pay that much. You have to remember that Hawaii's minimum wage is $10.10 per hour as of 2020, which means that a person earning minimum wage would earn about $21,008 per year. That means that an individual on minimum wage would have to work two and a half jobs just to be able to afford to rent. Or you could have two individuals splitting those hours. Of course, you also have to make sure that you can cover your costs for other basic things like electricity, food, car payments, gas, internet, student loans, phone bills, you know, things to live. But maybe you're not gonna make minimum wage and that's good. In fact, your average renter does not make minimum wage. They actually make $16.16 per hour or roughly $33,163 per year. And again, that's still not enough. You have to work at least two jobs just to be able to afford the rent and of course, it doesn't include those other expenses. So what does it all mean? It means it's very expensive to make it in Hawaii and a lot of people are barely making it month to month. People have to work multiple jobs and that means less time at the beach and less time with family. Again, these numbers aren't meant to scare anyone, but it's often a reason why people don't make it in Hawaii long term. But even worse, it's getting to the point where it's just not reachable for most people, especially locals. So with all these challenges, how do most locals do it? We have a really high percentage of people who live multi-generational housing where they live with their parents or their grandparents. You got two or three families living in one house and that helps cut the housing costs from shared to zero. Other people inherit homes, other people work multiple jobs and other people, they end up on the streets and that's how we cope. Thanks for watching and aloha.